Scott Brown here, and I'm only here for one reason and one reason only. I need to come up with a better storage system, this is no good. The reason I'm here is to grab some bolts to bolt timber to concrete. But this exciting episode is going to start yesterday, where I attempt to fix all that rotten timber at the renovation job in time for the plumber and the electrician. We're fixing this. I've chipped away at pretty much all the rot. So that is all the rot and the wet spots gone. And now I've got a new fresh joist that I'm gonna make support the floor there. So while the rot is gone, I kind of want to put something that isn't timber between this timber and the other timber. It's treated and that's dry now, so it should be fine, but you know, extra precaution. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I thought that whole joist was gonna be wrecked and I'd have to find a way to get under there and you know, support everything, pull it out. But it's only really the top of the joist that was damaged. I'm gonna add this timber just to be extra sure. There we go. Joyce repaired. Okay. This is H3 treated plywood, meant for bathrooms and wet areas. But in this case, it's a barrier against the wet water cylinder area, the potentially wet water cylinder area. So if we do have a leak like that in the future, which with cylinders, it does happen. We've got another barrier here. So another thing to consider is that this plywood that I'm using is thinner than the native timber boards that are covering the floor currently. So I have to put these timber packers here that I just ripped. Come on with these stainless steel nails that I had in the van. And then when I screw the ply on top, it'll hold everything. There we go, that's the floor repaired, and that is still loose. And the majority of it is loose, so the plumber can get underneath. The things you do for the other trades. As much as I'd love to be just framing and, you know, leaving it at that for now, I can't because the top here, this cupboard isn't big enough for a modern cylinder. Now that's not so terrible because I mean, look at the state of this. I have to replace it anyway. And if you look at the ceiling, kind of the same story. As much as I would love to be putting it back together, there's still more things to pull apart.
standing lunch break. I think that's probably all the demo. Probably. Probably won't be, but hey. This is uh, actually the stage of every job where the customer usually <laughs> loses the passion for getting the job done. So when you first arrive to a job, it's like, oh my god, welcome, welcome, the build is finally here, I've been meaning to do this for ages. All our plans are coming to fruition. And then the sort of uh, reality of the job sets in when you start finding more damage than you thought you'd find. So this is the point where communication is the key. So sitting there having lunch, I was thinking maybe the roof has got a problem and maybe that's contributing to the, the leak, but over there is where the hot water cylinder is and uh, it looks fine, honestly. <laughs> there we go. So I think the original explanation by the plumber that it's the heater tank inside that was leaking and possibly the water cylinder as well, the hot water cylinder, um, that's probably the best theory. Either way, let's frame. much sorted it. The electrician was just here. And action. How's it going there, Gillis? <laughs> you, if you had one word to describe the wiring in this old place. <laughs> um, old. <laughs> <laughs> it's just old as the thing and it travels up. Yeah. And then what happens is because they use the steel as the earth, yeah. it shorts to the earth inside the conduit. So, unsafe. Yeah, it's just old, some really old stuff. It's brittle, it's gone through its working life. So that was good, he's got the bathroom sorted out. The kitchen's gonna need more work. As he was saying there, the old cables. Yeah, not, not so safe. Um, but that's, that's for the next stage of the job. Um, the cupboard, the hot water cupboard's ready anyway, so as soon as the plumber's done his thing this week, I can get the cupboard ready for him. So that's lined. I don't want to line this because this is the plumber's access hatch. And yeah, my work here is done for now. Electrician sorted already, plumber tomorrow. Thanks for watching this exciting episode. See you guys in the next one. Well, although it's uh, nowhere near normal times, you know, 8.30 on a Thursday morning would be packed down here. I'd probably be running very late. Um, it's definitely busier than it has been at level three. I just uh, drove through Remuera there and on the main road, there was a line of probably 12 guys and it was outside of Barbers. I'm filming shots of the streets for my YouTube videos. For your videos? Yeah, yeah.